The next kind of problems that you can expect from nuclear physics is based on the principle of accelerators and detectors. Uh, we have looked into the concepts of what an accelerator does and what what a detector does and uh, the basic basic kind of uh, accelerators are cyclotrons and synchrotrons and uh, we have looked at their working in the classroom sessions and we have also looked at how different uh, detectors like the GM counter, the proportional counter, etc. work. So the problems can be based on basically how uh, the cyclotron works. Here I have taken the working of the cyclotron. Uh, anyways, uh, coming back to the cyclotron thing, there are a couple of things that can be asked. You can be asked to determine the uh, energy of uh, the particles that are being accelerated in the cyclotron. Uh, you can be asked to find out their uh, the frequency at which the cyclotron is operated. You can be asked to find out the mass of the particle. You can be asked to uh, find out the magnetic flux density or the magnetic field strength that is being applied and uh, so on and so forth. Uh, so let us uh, deal look into uh, problems one by one. A typical problem uh, s looks something like this. In a cyclotron, a particle of mass 3.345 into 10 power minus 27 kg describes a circle of radius 0.3 meters before emerging out of the Ds. The frequency of applied EMF is 8 megahertz. Find out the velocity of the particles and the magnetic field strength that is being applied to the cyclotron. So you know the, the, the cyclotron has two Ds and they are uh, supplied with very high um, frequency electrical signals which oscillate and uh, these, uh, these, these oscillations helps in movement of the particle in the Ds and then gain energy and once they have achieved the required energy they just uh, are brought out of the cyclotron to be uh, hit on the target. So let us write down what is given. We have been given with the mass of the particle. So the mass of the particle is 3.345 into 10 power minus 27 kg and we have been given the radius uh, through which this particle or uh, the, the thing is particle is accelerated so r is given as 0 0.3 meters and the other parameters and the other parameter and the other parameter that is given is the frequency of oscillation so that I will take it as some f f is equal to 8 into 10 power 6 hertz and what are we asked to determine we are asked to determine the velocity of the particle and we have been asked to determine the magnetic field strength or magnetic flux density. So let us go one by one. The first thing that we need to determine is the velocity. The easiest way to determine uh, velocity is using e equal to half mv square which has the uh, expression for velocity and in terms of energy which is something that we can determine with the parameters that is already given to us. So velocity can be given as root of 2 times into energy divided by the mass of the particle. Right? So energy can also be given in this case of the cyclotron as 2 into 2 pi squared m into r square into f square divided by m. So what does this tell you? The energy of the particle inside the cyclotron can be found out using 
this formula that is 2 pi square mr square into f square so you can simply you know try to evaluate this expression you can cancel out m and m and you will have only root of 4 pi squared r squared into f squared so let me just substitute the values so I'll have root of 4 pi squared into r squared that is 0.3 squared into I have f squared that is 8 into 10 power 60 whole squared. So that solving this expression I will get velocity as some 15.079 into 10 power 6 meter per second. So this is the expression for velocity using the uh, terms using the values that have been given to us. Uh, in terms of frequency radius and mass actually you can start off by using this formula determine e then divided by m it's, it's it's all pretty much the same so i directly took it the next thing that you are asked to determine is the magnetic field strength so you can define the magnetic field strength as so that is 2 pi into frequency into mass of the particle divided by the charge on the electron so this is also simple substitution 2 pi into <coughs> frequency is 8 into 10 power 6 into mass is given as 3.34 into 10 power minus 27 10 power minus 27 divided by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so solving this I'll end up getting B as some 1.05 Tesla so the velocity of the particle that is emerging out of the D is found is found to be some 15 point something in 10 power 6 meter per second whereas the magnetic field strength you have applied to the uh, system of the cyclotron is found to be about 1 tesla 1.05 tesla the other kind of problem that can come from the same accelerators and detectors chapter might sound something like this the frequency of an oscillating potential difference applied uh, this is applied d okay this is d applied to the d's of a cyclotron as 7 megahertz determine the magnetic flux density required to accelerate the protons so this is a very important point to be observed here so what have you been given you have been given the frequency of oscillation or frequency of the uh, field applied electric field applied that is 7 into 10 power 6 hertz and what have you been given the other thing that has been given is you are trying to determine it for the protons so what is the mass of the proton you can take the mass of the proton as that's a standard value you can get it from your calculators or a clock's table 1.672 into 10 power minus 27 kg so please remember that if you are using something else so instead of protons here if I had given say an electron then you would use the mass of the electron if I had given the neutron then you would use the mass of the neutron or if I had given any other particle any other particle then you need to have the mass of that particular particle to uh, proceed further for this problem 
so this is as you have, we have already seen in the previous uh, problem the formula is very simple the problem uh, the formula goes something like this b is equal to 2 pi into frequency into mass into mass divided by the charge on the electron so just plug in those values you have 2 pi frequency is 7 into 10 power 6 and you have the mass given as 1.672 or you can also take it as 1.6 in 10 power minus 27 to simplify the calculations but I presume most of you will be using the scientific calculator so you can take as many decimal places as possible this is 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 so solving this B turns out to be about 0 0.46 Tesla over and over again I'm repeating that the problems are pretty straightforward and all that you have to do is uh, remember which uh, formula to use and then directly substitute those values uh, you will be able to solve the problems perfectly uh, there is also a little amount of uh, practice required so practice them and uh, you should be able to crack it easily